Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm here to do another book haul for you. Um, I have managed to acquire quite a few books recently, um, which is surprising because I didn't get any for Christmas and I didn't really expect many in the post. So I'm kind of quite shocked with how many I've got, but I'm really, really excited to show you some of these. Um, some of them are books I've been sent to me by publishers and a couple, yeah, five of them were competition prizes I won which is super exciting. Um, so I thought I would talk you through some of these today. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so without further ado, I will get into it. The first book that I was sent was sent to me by the Love Reading panel. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the website Love Reading. I think I've spoken about it before. But Love Reading is basically a website that details pretty much every single book that there is out there. And it gives you kind of a rundown. Sometimes it has an extract. Um, and it's just a really good way to find out about books that you might want to read. Um, and they have a reviewing panel um, that you can sign up to and every so often they send you out an email and they say we've got this many books to review, if any of these take your fancy let us know and we will send them up to you. So I saw this book and I pretty much kind of nearly died. Um, I've heard so many things about this book, mainly from Lucy Robinson, um, she constantly talks about this book um, and she says that every time she has to gift a book to someone she always chooses this book. Um, and it is Black Rabbit Hall by Eve Chase. Now, it came out in hardback, um, I think about, gosh, I can't remember. I think it was about May, maybe a little bit later in 2015. And it comes out in paperback um, on the 19th of May. Um, so they've sent me a paperback copy because this is obviously, it's going to go from hardback into paperback. Um, and I've just wanted to read this for absolutely ever um, and it tells a story of um, obviously Black Rabbit Hall and I think it's all about a lot of secrets and different things that have gone at the hall and it's um, centred around a family and what happens one fateful summer I think um, and I've started reading it. I'm only about 20 pages in but I'm absolutely loving it so far the writing style is so brilliant and even though I'm only kind of a little bit of the way in there is already so much tension and underlying kind of there's just it's so uneasy it's just I can't wait to find out what's going to happen so I'm really excited to read this and I will be doing a review for it for love reading as well and I will also do a review for my blog so look out for that because I'm sure that this is going to be one I will be ra raving about for a long time to come so that's Black Rabbit Hall by Eve Chase the next book I literally just opened it this morning it arrived this morning and it is All the Stars in the Heavens by Anne Adriana Adri Anna Trigiani. I'm so sorry for butchering your name there. Um, Adriana Trigiani. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it right. Um, this is her latest novel and it is, I think, based on a true story of, um, let me see the press release. I think it's based on the true story of Clark Gable and um, Loretta Young, which they were two actresses or actors um, who met on the set of The Call of the Wild. Um, but although Gable was already married, he instantly falls for her. Um, and I think it's kind of a, based on the true story of their kind of relationship or their affair or whatever happens. Um, I didn't read too much about the blurb because I didn't really want to ruin it for myself. But I just think this cover is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's so shiny and sparkly and I just think it's so vintage and retro. I really like it as well. Um, I don't actually think I've read any of... Her books before which is really strange because I was sure like I've heard her name so much like all, all the time so I can't work out why I haven't picked up any of her books but I'm really really excited to begin my little journey of this author with this book and hopefully if I enjoy this one I will go on to pick up some more of hers so that is all the stars in the heaven the next book I was sent was sent to me just before Christmas actually I think it was a little bit earlier than that. I think it might have been maybe kind of early December. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've shown you this one already. Um, it is The Weekend Wives by Christina Hopkinson. Now this was um, an unsolicited copy. I didn't ask for it and I wasn't expecting it, but it came with a little note and it said, Dear Laura, to say thanks to the many times we've worked together, I've picked you to sample very early Christina Hopkinson's new book for next year, The Weekend Wives. We are publishing on March the 10th. This is one of my really hot choices in the women's fiction we're publishing next year and I'm so excited to release it into your hands early. So that's kind of a good start because if it's going to be a hot pick for women's fiction. Um, the basic premise um, is about a group of wives who their husbands I think work away during the week. So they start potentially a little club or they start kind of 
they talk to each other about different things um, and I think it focuses around this group of women. Um, the kind of the, the tagline on the front says weekend wife noun a wife whose husband works away and only comes home at weekends a wife who misses her husband when he's gone but wants him gone when he's home so i'm quite excited to about reading this and um, i always kind of get a little bit nervous when it comes to reading um kind of contemporary women's fiction that's set around women who are married or women that are kind of a little bit older than i am because sometimes i find it hard to identify with the, the characters but i'm hoping that this one i will be able to work with and identify with the characters so i'm looking forward to giving that one a read and that comes out on march 10th so there will be a review up for that one before march 10th the next book i was sent again was an unsolicited copy i wasn't expecting it i didn't realize it was coming and it is the last kiss goodbye by tasmina parry now this is um i think this has already been out in hardback i think it's coming out in paperback soon or it might already be out in paperback i'm not sure um, but I've loved um, a lot of Tasmina Perry's books. I've read The Proposal, Deep Blue Sea, um, and I think I also read Perfect Strangers and Guilty Pleasures. So I've read quite a few of her books before and I've really enjoyed them. This one is about um, a journalist, Rosamund Bailey, who's ready to change the world. When she meets an um, explorer and man about town, Dominic Blake, she realises she's found the love of her life. Just as happiness is in their grasp, the worst happens and their future is snatched away. Um, and then many years later, deep in the vaults of a museum, archivist Abby Gordon stumbles upon a heartbreaking find, sorry, breathtaking find, a fated photograph of a man saying goodbye to the woman he loves. Looking for a way to escape her own heartache, Abby becomes obsessed with the story, little realising that behind the image frozen in time lies a secret altogether more extraordinary. So it's kind of a love story that spans lots of years. Um, it's, I think, the basic idea is that a woman finds this photo of this couple and she kind of goes on to explain like explore what happened to them so i'm really looking forward to this i love tasmina perry's writing it's always really engrossing and it's something that you can get so easily lost in like you don't really have to think about what you're reading you can just read it and just it, like soak it all up so really really looking forward to reading that one so thank you to headline for sending me that one that was a lovely surprise the next book i sent was also unsolicited i wasn't expecting it i didn't know it was coming and that is holding out for a hero by victoria van team and i have also got Victoria's first novel called Love Like the Movies and I haven't actually read it yet because I, it's just another one of those books I haven't got around to reading so I was a little bit wary about going into this one because I didn't know if I liked her writing style I didn't know if she was kind of an author that I enjoyed but I thought I would give it a go because I really like the cover and I liked the idea of the book um, and I've actually read this already and it was really 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 good um, it tells the story of Libby who is pretty much stuck in the 80s she wears 80s clothes she listens to 80s music she's always kind of like making 80s references about 80s films and all that kind of stuff um but her friends decide that because her 30th birthday is looming they want to stage an 80s intervention and they want to stop her from being so trapped in the 80s and they want to bring her up to date and part of this intervention is getting her to go on some dates so that she's got a date to take to her surprise birthday party um, and what ensues is kind of a story about these really funny fail failed dates um and about her little group of friends who are trying to help her kind of get over stuff that's happened in the past and become kind of the person that she should be um and actually it's really really funny i wasn't expecting to find it as funny as i did but there were some really good laugh out loud moments in this um, and i actually have got a review for this that will be going up soon so make sure to look out for that but yeah i'd really recommend this and now that i've read this i'm really excited to go back and read victoria's first novel so yeah that is holding out for a hero which is out on 11th of january i think so very soon the next book or the next five books i got um are books i won in a giveaway um laura from um laura's little book blog was doing a giveaway over christmas she had i think one giveaway every single day leading up to christmas which was amazing it was like an advent giveaway and one of her giveaways really really caught my eye and it was for a collection of nancy mitford books um but really gorgeous like gorgeous spine books um or covers shall i say rather than just spines and i've never read anything by nancy mitford before but i've heard so much about her books and i've heard that they're really really good classics um, and I'm not the kind of person who normally buys classics for myself because I'm not very good at reading classics. So when I saw these, I thought, oh my goodness, I would absolutely love to win these. Um, and surprisingly, and very luckily, I did. Um, so they arrived the other day and there are five of them. And there's The Blessing by Nancy Mitford. And I just love this cover. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, and it's got a really lovely feel to it as well. They're quite um, thick, like um, almost like watercolour paper. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, so yeah that is the blessing i also got wigs on the green which again has got this gorgeous kind of like honeycomb pattern i got love in a cold climate which again beautiful pattern 
Um, this is probably my favourite cover, maybe, I think. Um, it's called Don't Tell Alfred, and I just love the patterning and the colours. It's just so classy. And then, actually, maybe this is my favourite cover, I think, um, is The Pursuit of Love. And I think this is probably her, either her most famous work or the one that she's kind of most known for the people the one that people recommend the most this is the one that I've been told to read by a lot of people um, and I think it's kind of a bit of um kind of a coming of age like novel about kind of coming of age and love and sex and all that kind of stuff um the blurb says oh the tedium of wanting to grow up longing for love obsessed with weddings and sex Linda and her sister sisters and cousin Fanny are on the lookout for the perfect lover but finding Mr Bright is much harder than any of the sisters had thought. Linda must suffer marriage first to a stuffy Tory MP and then to a handsome and humourless communist before finding real love in war-torn Paris. So I'm really looking forward to giving this one a read um, and I think if I'm right I think Don't Tell Alfred and then um, The Blessing maybe? No not The Blessing is it Wigs on the Green? Or is it Love in a Cold Climate? Yeah, that one. So I think they're, they're part of a series, so I think The Pursuit of Love, and then you read Don't Tell Alfred, and then you read um, Love in a Cold Climate, I think. Um, I think they either follow the same characters or it follows the same story, but I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting into these, and I think they all just look absolutely stunning on my bookcase. So thank you so much, Laura, for sending me those and for letting me win the competition. It's so, so lovely of you. So thank you for those. Um, the next book I sent again was another unsolicited book. Um, and I've never actually, um, I did, I haven't heard of this book before, um, and it's called Afterlight by Rebecca Lim. Now, earlier, or was it last year or the year before, I was sent a proof copy of one of her other books, I think. I'm sure it was her book. Was it called, like, The Astrologer's Daughter or something? Or is that a different author altogether? I can't remember, but I think, I think I've been sent a copy of one of her books before that, again, I never got round to reading. Um, but this one sounds quite intriguing. I think it's um, a young adult novel, and it's, um, oh yeah, here we go, from the acclaimed author of the, of the Mercy series and The Astrologer's Daughter. So yes, I did get a copy of The Astrologer's Daughter, but never got round to reading it. So this um, says, since her parents died in a freak motorbike accident, Sophie Tegu's life has fallen apart, but she's just enrolled at a new high school hoping for a fresh start. That's until Eve, a beautiful ghost in black, starts making terrifying nightly appearances, wanting Sophie to be her hands, eyes and go-to girl. There are loose ends that Eve needs Sophie to tie up, but dealing with the dead might just involve the greatest sacrifice of all. Dark, thrilling and unrelentingly eerie, Afterlight will take you deep into the heart of a dangerous love story, revealing the otherworldly and deadly pull, out, pull of past wrongs that only the living can put right, if that made any sense. Um, so I'm kind of intrigued by that. It's kind of like a YA, I think a little bit of fantasy, a little bit ghostly, um, kind of coming of age story perhaps. I'm not sure, but like I say, this was sent to me completely unsolicited, so I don't really know much about this or much about the author. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go actually though, because it does sound quite good. So I will let you guys know what I think of that one when I've finished it. The next book I got again <laughs> was a book that I wasn't expecting to be sent. Actually, no. I think I was asked about this one. No, I think I was asked actually. Um, and it is The Birthday That Changed Everything by Debbie Johnson. Um, I absolutely love Debbie's Christmas novel, which was called Never Kiss a Man in a Christmas Jumper. It was just really, really lovely and festive and Christmassy. Um, and at the end of that book, there was like the first chapter of this book as like a teaser. And I read that first chapter and I really, really enjoyed it. So I was really excited when I got sent a copy of this. And I just think the cover is absolutely stunning i just love it so much um it's just so pretty i love it um and this is about a woman who basically it's her birthday but on her birthday she finds out that her husband has been having an affair or is leaving her for a latvian lap dancer which is what everybody doesn't really want to find on their birthday um so she jets off to turkey for some sun sea and sanctuary the blue bay resort brings new friends and a perfect balm for sally's broken heart in gorgeous dubliner james he's just the birthday present she needs and when the chemistry between them continues to spark as the holiday ends sally wonders if this is more than just a summer fling but james has scars of his own and sally isn't quite ready to turn her back on her marriage this birthday might have changed everything but what will the next one bring so I'm really looking forward to reading that one and it's kind of like a contemporary women's fiction chiclet that I, and I just love that kind of genre anyway so I'm really really looking forward to reading that one so thank you to Harper for sending me that one. The next book I was sent was one that I did actually ask for and I was kind of emailed about and that is Pretty Is and this is the proof copy um, and it's by Maggie Mitchell and the blurb says or the, the tagline says everyone thought we were dead 
what else could they think um and inside it's really beautiful and striking and yellow and i'm just so excited to read this um i've heard so many amazing things about it and i think it has already been published in hardback um, but it's coming out in paperback this year i think around may time it's coming out in paperback so i'm really looking forward to giving this a read and reviewing it um as far as i know it's kind of like a psychological thriller um and it's about these two girls that get um kidnapped when they're younger um but i think they get re released or they get found and they both go on to le lead their own lives but i think as the years go on um, neither of them can shake off what happened to them because at that time they were both so intrinsically linked to each other because they had to like they had to just be friends because they were kidnapped together um, and I think it's about how they deal with that and the ripple effects in in their adult life I think anyway that's what I've kind of gathered from reading um, the blurb and reading kind of a few things about it so I'm really really looking forward to that one so thank you to Sam Eads for sending me that one I'm really excited to get into that and then the last and final book I've got to show you today is a book that definitely was sent to me unsolicited um, and the cover is very uh, odd it's just kind of like a slit it's either I think it's supposed to be like a, maybe a buttonhole um, I'm not quite sure but it's called I think I'm pronouncing this right Maestra um, by L.S. Hilton um, there we go and this is in, coming out in March, and, the, and it says, A world that drips with wealth, a dangerous conspiracy that opens doors, a woman who knows what she wants and exactly how to get it. Shockingly original and darkly decadent, Maestra is not like nothing else you've ever read. Um, so that's basically all I know about it. I don't really have, I have got um, a um, press release, but it doesn't really say too much more than it does on the back. So I'm kind of intrigued about what this could be about. And again, as far as I know, I think this is like, a psychological thriller or thriller or a crimey novel so it's kind of a long round that genre um but apparently that it's already got a film um a film deal and it's already been sold in 30 countries so i'm pretty sure this is going to be good um so i'm really looking forward to giving this a read um it comes out like i say in march and it's by Zaf zafra publishing i think that's how you say it and i've never actually read any of their books before so i'm intrigued to see kind of what this is like um, and I think this was written, I think it's an American novel, um, so there might be a few Americanisms in it, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So thank you so much to them for sending me a copy of this one. So that is all I've got to show you today. I don't think I've missed anything out, but um, I will probably be back at the end of January with another book haul because there are so many books that I keep being sent that I'm just so excited to show you guys. So I might do another haul at the end of the month. Um, I'm also going to be doing a few more videos soon um, to do some maybe reviews as well because I like doing reviews and talking about books I've loved. So I'll probably do a video review for Black Rabbit Hall and I might also try and do one for Pretty Ears as well. Um, so let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do, if there's any videos you'd like me to make. Um, let me know in the comments below and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!